Welcome Bitcoin friends, it's Bitcoin Mamo. Today we're going to look at the Bitcoin charts, do some TA, we'll look at various time frames and we'll also take a look at Market Cipher. We did put out a video yesterday but we have seen some price movements for Bitcoin so I'm doing a quick update today also. We're looking at this chart yesterday on Market Cipher, we're on the daily time frame. We're comparing this correction with the previous correction here, we noticed some similarities. We have the 50 day moving average in yellow here. We saw that once we broke below that on this correction, we had that big drop down. We came back to retest that moving average, got rejected, had another move down. And then we did add in this circle here and we're comparing it to this area with our current correction. We saw in Market Cipher, we spent a lot of time below the zero line with this blue wave, similar to what we did here with our current correction. The red and the green dots were quite choppy here on both of these. On this bounce to the upside to test that 50 day moving average, we saw the blue wave come up. We got this red dot above the zero line. Similarly here, we had this move to the upside, got that red dot just on the zero line here. And then we spent a little bit of time going sideways and that's where we were in yesterday's video. We mentioned we could do a similar thing. We did have a quick drop here a recovery and then one more drop making another low and I mentioned we don't have to do the same thing we could just come down and make one low here this drop did play out I did expect maybe next week we would see that drop but it has played out already so it does look quite similar to this drop here and now we do see this blue wave come down quite sharply here we saw it come down here also and then we looked for this major daily green dot here and that did indicate the exact bottom of this overall correction. We had these other green dots, but this major green dot where the blue wave goes below this line here, these are more significant. And I'm looking for a similar thing here as we do come down to help indicate that the bottom of this correction is in, along with a green dot on the two day time frame, which we will look at. So here's the two day time frame now. Again, we got this two day green dot, had this bounce. On our current correction, got this two day green dot, had this bounce, went sideways for a little bit here, got the red dot, then we had that one more correction to the downside, and the two day green dot, I've got it marked with this white line, it does line up on the same day as that major daily green dot. This did indicate the bottom of this overall correction. So that's what we're looking for now. We see the two day blue wave has started to come down here. The next candle won't be till Saturday. But again, we're looking for that major daily green dot and the two day green dot to tell us that the bottom of this correction is in similar to that other correction, which was a falling wedge. I have drawn in a similar pattern. These lines aren't exactly parallel, so it is still a falling wedge, although it's closer to a parallel channel. I am looking for the same pattern to play out. And we most likely get a bit of a bounce here or at least go sideways for a few days. We are quite oversold on the four hour time frame, which we will look at. And then we just need to play it out day by day. Either we come up for a dead cat bounce, come down and make a lower low, and then look for a bullish divergence on the four hour or the daily time frame. And then generally falling wedge patterns after that second touch on the bottom side, we push to the upside and break that pattern doesn't have to play out like that we could have a bounce come down and make a higher low and just make a w shape here and then break out or on this occasion we just continue to the upside after that second bounce we have to let it play out day by day here but at least we have those conditions now looking for that major daily green dot and the two day green dot to confirm that the bottom of this correction is in and again we looked at that hash ribbon a buy signal indicator and it tells us that the previous major low, which was here, it tells us that this price level on 80% of the occasions when backtesting won't ever be broken again for Bitcoin. And this is at 24.7K. So that hash ribbon buy signal along with the daily major green dot and the two day green dot is enough for me to say this correction would be over. So why do I think we get a bounce here? Well, basically, if we look at the four hour time frame here, this blue wave is extremely low here. I have added this white line just to mark the low here. There was actually a green dot just before here. So around 27.9K, 28K, that green dot appears. 
Either way, we will see a four hour green dot soon and it will get confirmed because we are very low and oversold here. I'm just pointing out this level because we don't get this low very often and we have to go all the way back here to March the 10th here. We see that blue wave came all the way down to this white line like it has with this one. And as mentioned, it doesn't happen often. So what happened here on March the 10th? Well, if we look on the chart, March the 10th was the exact low here after this big correction. And remember, looking at the BPVR yesterday, we have this massive spike here at 28K. This is where we wick down into. We're currently hovering around that area. We see this volume spike is bigger than these previous ones. I do think this is very strong support here. And looking at the weekly time frame now, again, we have these two trend lines here. The dotted trend line connects the overall lows here. The white solid line connects these two lows. You see a bit of a gap there, and we have fallen in the middle of that gap. I do still think we're in this ascending triangle pattern. This is our second touch on the downside, and we are looking for a bounce here. We do also have the golden pocket here on the fib retracement, taking it from this low to the high, and the 382 fib from this low to the high. We notice confluence in this area between 27.1 and 27.5. We haven't quite come to that golden pocket. We could still wick down into it, and also this bottom white dotted trend line. But looking at the RSI, we do see something interesting here. Initially at the top here, we did make higher highs here with the price action, looking at the bodies of the candles, but we made lower highs on the RSI. So this was bearish divergence. We've seen that correction play out now. But the interesting thing is, if we do connect these lows here, we are making higher lows. Well, the RSI is making slightly lower lows. We do have to wait for the end of the week to see where this closes. But if it closes here, this would be hidden bullish divergence. And this can often turn around the bearish divergence. If we actually look at these two points here, this was a slightly lower low than that point, And that actually corresponds to that low and this low. And we saw this was hidden bullish divergence. And then we did have that pump to the upside. So we could do a similar thing here. And this does actually make a trend line connecting all three of these. We would have hidden bullish divergence between all of these points. And if we also just connect the highs on the RSI here, we can see it does make this triangle pattern. And it does look quite similar to our current triangle pattern when measuring in a time fashion. And the other thing is we do have this white box drawn in on the RSI between a 50 and a 55 level. And this was important because if we do go back to the bull run that we have been comparing our current cycle with here, and we also add in the 21 week exponential moving average in green here, we can see after we started the bull run here, on all these pullbacks. We came back to that 21 week EMA in green. We can week below it, but we generally close the bodies of the candles above it. And at the same time, we also came into this zone on the RSI, this white box. Once we broke above it on the pullbacks, we came into this area and it acted as support. We saw that on this pullback here, we came to that 21 week EMA, also this white box acted as support. We came up higher. And also on this pullback, came back to the 21 week EMA, the white box acted as support. And also one more time here. And we saw that all the way in the bull run. Opposite's true in a bear market. But if we look at our current price action, we can see that after getting above this level on the RSI on these pullbacks, it acted as support, as did the 21 week exponential moving average. Also on this pullback acted as support on the 21 week EMA, also the white box here on the RSI. And now again, we've come into this white box and also the 21 week exponential moving average. And we can see we are quite close to the bottom here. So we'll have to see where this weekly candle closes. The 21 week EMA is sitting at 27,950. The other moving average we've been watching is the 200 week moving average and we see it here in red it's currently sitting at 27,450 
in line with that golden pocket. So it could possibly just wick down and touch that moving average also. We see they all lie within the zone of this solid white trend line and the dotted white trend line connecting those lows and these lows. And going down to the daily time frame now, we've got everything drawn the same here. The thing I want to point out here is we also have the 200 day moving average. That's also sitting at about 27.3K in a similar spot to the 200 week moving average. So the average price of Bitcoin over the last 200 weeks, approximately four years, is the same as the average price for Bitcoin over the past 200 days. But we also can watch the RSI here on the daily time frame, that trend line we looked at in yesterday's video, connecting all of these lows. I've used the outer two points here. We can see we are actually below that trend line at the moment. We have to see how this daily candle closes. We would only have to move up a little bit here for this to close on this white line. But the other thing we can point out is if we do connect these two lows here, we are making higher lows on the price action while making lower lows on the RSI. So this is hidden bullish divergence on the daily time frame. And that along with that four hour major green dot and oversold signal, I think we at least get a bounce from this area. And looking at order blocks on the daily time frame, we did mention in the previous video, if we did close a daily candle below this order block, which was below 28,880, then I would expect us to come down to these order blocks. And we saw once we got that closed, the following candle, we did have this big correction. There is two order blocks in this range and they do overlap here at 28K. We're currently at the bottom of the lower order block at 27,820. So would like to see us at least close inside of this order block. Even better would be to close above 28,070. That would put us above this order block and within this order block. We do have order blocks lower down in case we do have one more drop here. There are quite a few overlapping order blocks here. We have one here, one here, and one here. So three order blocks. The brighter the color here, the more they overlap. So this is sort of a golden zone here between 27,170 and 27,040. So if we do come down to here, I would expect this is the lowest we go. This is also the golden pocket area. That's about all for today. A quick update. I hope you enjoyed those back-to-back -back videos. I'll try to do as many videos as I can now, maybe some shorter ones like this one, just to keep us updated here as we try to get the bottom exactly here. I have been adding to my trade from about 28.6 down to 27.7. And I will go over my trade in a separate video at some stage. Just to show you quickly, I have been in a trade since the start of the year. I got in at, at about 16.8K. It's good on Bybit now. We have all these histories here. The S's are where I've taken profits. The buy is where I've added to my trade. And I have held this trade all the way in this bull run so far, taking profits regularly. And there are more profit takings here, and I did buy here, but it only shows a certain number of these recent buys. And I did take profits up here, buy more down here, take profits here, and now I'm adding in these lower sections. But I will make a separate video and go over this whole trade and show you my strategy, how I've played out the market since the start of the year. My current average buy-in is at 23,620. And it was a bit further down at 22.3, but adding these buys here has moved it up to 23.6. I've just got a stop loss at 24.5 below this low. But that's about all for today. Hope you enjoyed that analysis on Bitcoin Mamo. I'll see you next time. Bye.